What's up everybody, I'm Mr. Valentine. Today I am continuing the trek through the universe of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Appreciate you checking it out with me. I'm up to season five, episode eight. The name of the episode is Patty's Pub, colon, home of the original kitten mittens, which that's mellifluous, it rolls off the tongue. And one can only hope the episode is as great as the title. Shout out to my Prestige Worldwide members over there on the Patreon who are supporting the channel further. Russian Paul, Elijah J, Robert M, and KDS. I doff my proverbial cap to you. But without further ado, let's get into the episode, shall we? Is your cat making too much noise all the time? Cat constantly stomping around, driving you crazy! Those felines, huh? Less than perfect. Cat clawing at your furniture? Think there's no answer? Oh! So stupid! <laughs> there is! That's, that's morbid. Finally, there's an elegant, comfortable mitten. Of course, it's spelled with O. Hear oh, <laughs> your cat no cats were harmed during the filming of this episode, I presume. Oh, we're the home of the original kitten mittens. Me, Charlie, ever the entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how do you? <laughs> what, what, what response were you looking for there, Charlie? Huh? I've been forced to fall asleep to the deafening sound of like a hundred alley cats tapping on my windows trying to get in. Thus, kitten mittens, right? I'm making a quieter cat. That's such a circuitous way to that invention. A product. What do moronic kitten mittens have to do with our bar? Okay, one. Well, Why must they be moronic, Dennis? D, we got you to sign that contract so we could pay you less than minimum wage. We're never gonna merchandise anything in the bar. But now we are. That's diabolical. Remember signing any kind of contract? Oh, it's okay, because it's right here. I keep it in this drawer so the YouTube jerks don't try it. Hey, hey, wait, what are you <laughs> Destroy the evidence post haste. Oh, yeah. oh, why? Do you have another copy? I don't. I don't. But you can't just go eat a contract. You don't have a leg to stand on. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, what was Frank there the whole time? to make merchandise for patties right you know like expand our brand you know make a little money who's gonna buy merchandise to a bar that they gonna be bar back barons alliteration all right well how about like uh, hard boiled eggs from patty's bar green eggs says patties on them you keep them on your desk and when you go to work who's gonna want to keep a hard boiled egg frank that is an excellent idea how did you get in here <laughs> Tried and true entrance. Only your wife is. I was not participating in that conversation because I don't find her lovely. I think you're better than that. I think you can do better than that. Deandra, how dare you? And Charlie and I really like the fact that you don't charge. I do charge. Okay, you don't pay. We're both men of the law. You know, we get after. Semantics. Any respect that you're feeling that's coming from me is a mistake on your part. Then I'll just regress because I feel like I made myself perfectly redundant. Yes. <laughs> Are you calling them delusional? When we're selling stuff at Patty's, I think we need to be selling a certain attitude, right? One that reflects our take no prisoners rock and roll lifestyle. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Now what says that more? It's all about your image, your brand. <laughs> huh? Patty's thong, dude! Patty's thong! <laughs> that thong, the thong, thong, thong. I'm wearing women's underwear. What's more sexual than a high-waisted thong riding high up a woman's backside? Nothing. Just... Come on, Patty's thongs could be huge. Yeah, a woman's backside, Dennis. The operative word. I'm thinking to myself, what do people love more than anything else in the world? Uh, they love comedy. They. Right. You can't just go throwing jokes around willy-nilly. Oh. So I... Multifunctional. <laughs> you drew a men's buttocks on a towel. Yeah. You get out of the shower in the college dorm. They got the butt right. People oh, okay. are laughing. You're... What's the? <laughs> and then, and then you get one of these. <laughs> oh, man. oh man. Okay. That's just a setup. What is it? For this. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, it's a baby dick. Yeah. We're going to sell a million of these. We're going to sell a million of them. What? What is that? The cover of the Nirvana Nevermind album? It's a gun that shoots liquor into your mouth. <sighs> you threw tequila in my eye. Uh, I haven't figured out how to get the tequila to come out of the barrel. All right, that's a unique term. 
You know, you got that going for you, Frank. Frank, get the hell out of here. Your ideas oh, are oh, ridiculous. Oh, okay, okay. Suck on this, bitches. Eh? <laughs> uh, Patty's a pub, a stress oh. ball. You give this to people, they put it on their desk, and then during the day, you squeeze it when you have any tension. Right. Oh, God damn it. That's just an egg. It's a jumping off point. Get out. All right. Get That's a poultry excuse for merchandise. Christ. Poultry? Poultry? Ah. Strike that from the record. Let the record show. I don't stand by that. He's, he's banging that secretary. Uh, it just doesn't add up. She's a, an attractive lady. You She's don't, not she, attractive. Oh my god! Like an accountant on an elevator. It just doesn't add up. Oh, get down and hold still. <clears throat> All right. Um, so what are you people doing in my car now? Uh, <laughs> explain that. Uh, yeah. Of course he knows they're there. Of course. Why are you staying in this seedy motel, and why does it look like you've been crying all night? I'll tell you what I think. I think you feel guilty. All right, listen. If you must know. We must, actually. My wife is leaving me, and I have to sleep in this flea bag motel. And I am still very much in love with my wife, which makes this divorce very difficult. Thus, you have the turning away of the photo, and you have, you know, the crying episodes, and the what have you. <laughs> the what have you. You... What else are you leaving out there? We're all ripped up about that. So, so um, do you want to have a conversation about helping us out with our kitten and patting? Yeah, and, you, know? <laughs> you must be devastated. Now, back to us. Let's just make a video. Show that at the convention. Not like Charlie's video, though. Ours needs to be cool. Way cooler than Charlie's. Yeah, yeah. With, like, quick cuts and awesome music mm -hmm. and eagles flying through the air and picking up trout out of rivers and shit, yeah. ripping it apart and eating it. Need some stimulating B-roll, Maxanne. Chick. Uh, no offense, ma'am. You're very busty. Your breasts are very large, but uh, we want to go weird with it. We want to get really freakish. I would like to get your number, actually. Uh, we'll though, get the number. Of the <laughs> freakish, not freaky. Freakish, a delineation of a kind. Transformers got tweaked by GoBots. Hmm. Our job is to step aside and let the consumer decide. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna get a patent for this and sue your balls. Off. There's no morals in business. Knock knock. Hey, friends. Hey, we got you a little something to take your mind off your current wife situation, Sandy. I've seen right yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, was that a lady of the night? I detect. Actually, okay. She's been briefed on the divorce. She knows all about knows everything all about that's it. going on. Because you've been talking about the whole money thing yeah, a little you said bit. Take a load off. Or on. You have a, a lovely busty woman as, as well. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. well, she's a lady oh. of the night. Just bust the move. I'm going to toss a frame bang your way now here's how that works i slip into your house one night while your wife is sleeping and i ease into her real nice and that way you're both cheating on each other <laughs> and she can't clean you out that's a win-win goddamn shoes dennis uh, what I would. how did you arrive at that <laughs> machination i will take care of all of your legal needs if each of you agrees to never seek my legal advice again what really? great yeah sure. okay. for free no, no problem, problem. You promise not to break into my home and rape my wife. Rape? I wasn't talking about raping your wife. I was talking about making love to her sweetly while she sleeps. And I was going to do it for you, you son of a bitch. All right, fine. I won't do it. Great. Now we're... Dennis is a psychopath, dude. You want to sue these guys over some... An uproarious psychopath. Okay, why don't you throw out the suit if they agree to sign a contract that grants you 50% of the merchandising rights for Patty's Pub? 50%. I'll take it. Deal. Yes! What the hell are you doing, dude? I'll just eat the contract later. I'd also like to make a patent on Patty's shotgun. He's a contract eater. Objection. This is not a court of law. Sustain! Frank, move to strike. They stole my idea. Open your mouth. Badgering the witness. Whoa! Whoa! It's a bit more than tequila in that gun. But I guess I put too much gunpowder in. New deal! Oh, we are taking that propulsion and putting it in our shotgun. No, no, no. Deal, that deal sucks. Okay. Frank, dude. You you, you want to write to the cat gloves. Mittens, dude. Pay attention. So sorry, sir. Thank <laughs> Keep up. Investment opportunity in merchandising for a, uh, a Patty's Pub. You're really sweating. Well, my eyes are really burning. You're really starting to Made the video after all. Say the line now. Give me a drink. <laughs> How about shots? What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All we need is the eagle. Catching the trout. Two shots as they were intended. By blasting them directly into your mouth. Awesome. I'm wasted. But that's not all. I mean, if that if that's not an aphrodisiac, I don't know what is. Get blasted. I mean, where do I sign up? Honestly, where do I sign up? Okay. Uh, why don't we... The crowd goes mild. We had to edit while we shot, you know? Yeah. We just didn't have time. That was terrible. Does your cat walk around too much? Does your cat make too... <laughs> Guess who just found some investors for getting mittens? I told you, people love stupid shit. Why do you stupid, though? really stupid, but people are stupid, too, so... Biting commentary on American consumerism. How much money am I gonna make? Do what now? The contract that you... What about the hooker, bud? All blindly signed grants me 100% of the profits from any merchandising opportunities from your little bar. And kitten mittens, I own that. Dude. I had to get paid by you people somehow. Well, that's what the hooker was for. Dude. <laughs> so it was all for naught. Also included a restraining order, <laughs> which you're all currently violating. Excuse me, sir, can I see these supposed documents that you have? Right, yeah. <laughs> you gotta read the the fine print. You gotta read the fine print. Ah, yeah! <laughs> it's still good enough to be edible. That's it. Uh, yeah, you know, fortunately, I made hundreds of copies of that. <laughs> oh, unlike Deandra, he's a lawyer worth his salt. <laughs> Stop eating that now. Uh not exactly <laughs> in loving memory of. Oh. Huh. I don't know who that is, but in memoriam for sure. Gone but not forgotten, Ernie. Alright, so the gang tried to capitalize off of merchandising ideas, which were was all Jump started by Charlie. Charlie is the mastermind of this group. Do you agree with that statement? Do you agree with my assessment? <laughs> it's funny, the lawyer, they're like, you know, you do services for us. We don't pay you. It's an agreement here. But in the end, he got his get back, man. He one upped our group. The gang gets one upped. I wonder if we're going to see the fruition of these kit mittens. You know, it's going to be like an intro world joke through line. Not unlike Apple Reds or Red Apples in Quentin Tarantino universes. Who knows? Who knows? But that was a decent episode, man. A couple of chuckles. The The story was asinine. <laughs> the script was asinine. But, you know, these actors here, they somehow amalgamate to bring it home every time. So... I am appreciating this journey and I'm glad you're taking it with me. And, you know, uh, so I'm on season five. I need to look up how many episodes, how many seasons there are, rather, because I think it's like 12, 13, right? Because it's still <laughs> on the air as we speak. Am I not? <laughs> Is my, do I got my wires crossed here? I wonder. But okay, that was season five, episode eight. Appreciate you watching with me. Home of the original kitten mittens. And as always, till we meet again.